You were just purposely you racist, that way. and you now you're playing the victim. Don't you dare use that language! Fuck you! Fuck you! you you're a bad! Fuck you! You stupid! You cunt! Your mom is a hoe! Fuck you! I know, it's really hard. It's really fucking hard. Shut that door. It's so fucking hard. It's so fucking hard. White privilege. White privilege. You mean you're so privileged that you can yell racism at folks? You just walked by a group of folks and yelled racism? Is this your store? I am a customer. So am I. So am I. I'm a customer too, Becky. She's having a breakdown because she just got caught being racist. You probably shouldn't be racist anymore. You should probably check yourself. You racist ass bitch. You're gross. They're asking you to leave. You're oh, you're gonna keep her in here? No, I just want the situation Sure thing. Sure thing. You're racist, bitch. And you guys are titling that bitch to her racism by kicking me out and letting her stay in here when she came in here. Screaming like a psycho. You guys are allowing that racism to exist, and you guys calling the cops on me is some racist ass bullshit. She came by and screamed racist ass shit at my people. So you, those are my friends, and that racist ass bitch couldn't just keep her mouth shut. You should know, Becky. You should know, Becky. Racism isn't okay. 2021. You're gonna get called out for your racist act. I want you to see how upset I am right now. Okay. So I stood in line once to place my order. I had to stand in line another time to get utensils to eat my order when I specifically told them that I'd be sitting here. I was able to make it to Smarty Pants and get utensils before your employee came up with utensils. Okay. I'm now having to come into line for the third time to have my sandwich cut in half, which I specifically specified. Okay. I've now been here for over 20 minutes. The gentleman who was sitting there with me at the other table also said they had to stand in line multiple times. Okay. So yeah, if, you, if you need something, you can ring the doorbell. It's faster for us to come to the back instead that's of where I, That's where I stood in line over there, too, because there was a line of people waiting to have their orders fixed. Uh, I think so. the people were standing waiting for their orders to get made. If you need something immediate, you can ring the doorbell and we'll come back I need back my sandwich faster. cut in half. I would yeah. appreciate a full refund of my check. We can, you can get the sandwich. I'm not even bothering you. No, you looking at me. That's bothering me. You looking at me. Well, that's too bad. Keep your eyes to yourself. Security ass guard don't don't bit, don't come up on me. Don't come up on me, okay? Don't, don't come up on me, me okay? Nigga. Don't come up on me. Don't come up on me, okay? Don't come up on me, okay? Me, okay? You better sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. Nigga. Sit your ass down. I'm not even bothering nigga. you. Sit your ass nigga. down. Nigga. Come at me, nigga. see what the fuck. Nigga. Go. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Nigga, what sit down. Sit down. I'm not even bothering you. I'm not even bothering you. Don't come up on me. I told you not to come up on me. I told you don't come up on me. Oh, where you going, man? I told you, since you got to get off this bus, you can get started up. Oh. Yeah, I got the whole thing on video, too. Hi. Dude, do you work? What is it? Cell phone power upgrade. Oh, is it, in, is it for a particular cell company? or is uh, it? Yeah, you have cell here. Are you aware what this really is? What do you mean? This isn't cell service, sir. Did they make you sign an NDA? I'm with the Wisconsin State Assembly. Are you gentlemen aware what this is? Or do you actually think this is cell? This isn't cell service. You can laugh all you want, sir. 
I went to Wisconsin State Assembly, and this is military grade radiation. Cool. And you're gonna all have blood on so your just, hands. Just, yeah. Just don't talk. Did you sign NDAs with the state? Don't talk? You're all gonna have blood on your hands. This is radiation. Oh, it's real funny, huh? Can I have your cards? I'd like all of your business cards, please. No, not gonna give it to me? All right, then I'll just get your faces on camera. I got all your trucks already. So you can either give me your card and tell me who you are, and you can pretend I'm not with the Wisconsin State Assembly and laugh. It's radiation, sir. Military grade radiation. They turn it on and off like a microwave, and you're unraveling it. And if you signed an NDA, do you have children? Look it up. Childrenshealthdefense.org. And I'm glad that you have a smirk on your, fa your face and you think this is real funny. You have blood on your hands, sir. Do your research. You're installing military grade radiation to kill this neighborhood. And I got you all on film so when they all start dying, I'll have your smirking, arrogant face to show the world. Goodbye. You're sick. Stevenson. Sickles. These are the people out there. You think these dudes are gonna freaking care? They don't care. They're worried about going, going filling their face watching Netflix and chill tonight. America. Yep, you think these guys are gonna save you? Good old US cellular. I can't flip it around because then I'll get worse. Yes, but you don't need to wear a mask. Probably. I'm wearing the mask! But I'm wearing the mask! Just leave me alone! I'm wearing the mask! Just leave me alone! Okay, okay. You must wear a mask as well because you can protect ourselves and yeah, yourself. Just leave me alone. Yeah. I'm not. We cannot sick, leave you alone okay? because it's not illegal in the Taiwan. Okay? My wife went to this store that is in York, Pennsylvania. It is Beggar King Store 5547. And she requests for uh, bacon and cheese. Crispy chicken. So here's the bacon and cheese. Crispy. Uh, where's the chicken? Without the chicken. Without the chicken.
don't need it. Because if what if I came without it? It's obvious the truth that you didn't do the right order. And what's your name, sir? Mark. What's your name? Marlin. And are you the store manager or what? What's your rank? Assistant manager. And do you think it's right to be the risk? I talk to customers like that. You know what? I didn't put any No? You're, I'm putting words on, on your mouth. When your associates told me that she doesn't like working on the back because she doesn't like dealing with you. She's right there. She took, she gave me the order. And I said, I'm so sorry for you that you, your manager is such an asshole because nobody want to work with you. You can keep your crispy chicken without the chicken.